Hello Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I hope you're all having an amazing day today. I'm going to be taking a look and seeing what is manifesting for you all. What is going on right now in your current situation with you. The person on your mind if any and what you need to know so whenever you do see this it will be the right time and as always take what resonates and leave out the rest practice using your own discernment don't forget to like comment subscribe follow me on all social media tiktok instagram I am Spiritually Goldie on all platforms. And if you're interested in a personal reading done by myself, all of the information will be left in the description box below with a link to my website, spirituallygoldie.com, for you to um, take a look at the different options for readings. Okay, a lot is going to happen really quickly for you, Pisces. I'm seeing a lot of offers coming in really suddenly or very soon. I'm seeing the timeline of something happening very happening very quickly <laughs> towards a relationship, four of wands, or settling in into something. I see this I see like communication, news, a message where it, like I'm I'm picking up this could happen within like this week for some of you. Um or just a timeline of this communication it, it, or a relationship moving into a relationship very suddenly or very quickly because you have a bunch of options or choices and you may be feeling pulled in different directions, but I, I definitely see you finding clarity. You're you're going to end up making a very clear decision. And it does feel like a very smart decision as well. So you end up making the best decision for yourself here. And I do see you have been focusing on yourself. Your self-worth. You've been taking time to heal. Doing shadow work. Appreciating yourself. Maybe you have a shadow work journal or something. But you've been really like learning. You've been learning from things from your past and applying them into your present moment. What is this communication about? What is this communication about? Judgment. Okay. Someone's wanting to like improve communication on something, but... I do see th that someone is wanting to, this communication is about redemption. Someone wanting to re redeem themselves with you. Hmm. Okay. So... Ten of Wands and Death Reversed. You can see this person is like walking back to something that was over. So I get a sense that you may have like walking, you may have like walked back to something or someone's walked back to some to a door that was closed. And as it's like as you're walking back to something or as you're thinking about it, all of a sudden there's spirit is like coming in with an expansion of offers for you. Okay. Hmm. I get that there's with this page of cups, there's there is a message coming from the heart. And I also feel like there is this energy where there's someone who I do see you have feelings for or someone who you like. And it does feel like it's new feelings or new emotions. But there's still an air of, at this moment, there's still an air of, hmm, I know that I like this person or I know that I like this offer. 
but I'm not sure yet if I want to pursue it further or long term, which is okay to be in. It's okay um, because you are focusing on your happiness. So I'm seeing with this paradise in your energy, it looks like you are um, just reaching a point in your life where you are focusing on your your own happiness. You may be going somewhere, traveling somewhere alone. But there's someone who I see you both enjoy each other's company. Or you're going to be enjoying someone's company very soon. There's an invitation to settle into a home somewhere. Or see each other. Two of Cups. This is mutual. These feelings are mutual. And I see you really... Focusing on nurturing this long term. Meanwhile, also keeping yourself um, in 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 a way in a way keeping yourself as the empress or emperor if you're a man to to allow things to come to you without you needing to chase. Because you can see she is like just sitting down here. So I get a sense that you are not chasing anything here. You're letting the energies work for you at this point. It's like whatever will be, will be. Okay. If you do have someone on your mind, think of them. And let's take a look and see what their energy is saying. Okay, again, we do have the Four of Wands. So there is a energy of this person feeling like they want to settle down with you or take things to a next level after action or things just being up in the air. Although there is an air of some heartbreak from, the, from them or sadness from this person. Okay. This is somebody who is single. I'm picking up something about a home. Okay. Interesting. Eight of Cups. So I'm definitely seeing there's this air of someone feeling sad that they had walked away from a relationship or from a commitment, they may have walked away from you. And they're up and they're and this is something that is still in their heart. Okay. Wow. Wow. They look at you as their ten of cups, their source of happiness. They see you in their future or they want a future with you. Judgment. Redemption. This is something they're wanting to redeem here. Like they want to redeem themselves. But I'm seeing the moon. So there could be something that they're hiding. What are they? A decision. In regards to another situation or a past person that they're not maybe being completely transparent about because they don't want to lose a chance to be with you. Okay. Okay. Perception. Your perception is going to change. Um, they are saying to learn from the past, make memor make new memories. Ace of Swords is gaining that insight or that clarity to learn from the past. I do feel like there's something that you're starting to learn or it's like something that maybe you didn't learn before. You're learning it now. Okay. Ooh, holding back. 
I get a sense that you are holding back from making um, a decision too quickly. But for some reason, <laughs> it still looks like there's a re there's a relationship forming pretty soon or the timeline is going to happen very soon like for example if you end up meeting someone new you could end up meeting this person and then like three or eight months later you're engaged you know like the timeline of something is like happening very quickly although i see you trying to hold back hmm For some, it may work, but yeah. What else does Pisces need to know? Page of Wands and King of Cups. Communication coming from the heart or actions coming from the heart. And I feel like this is reflecting on, on the past, looking at actions or things you may have taken action towards in the past coming from the heart that maybe didn't work and maybe reevaluating those actions this time around because I'm, I'm really picking up this is really a moment for for massive change in your life in a very positive direction you have an expansion of offers and opportunities here and like this is your shot that's what i'm hearing this there's an op that you have opportunities and i'm seeing you have a really good one so use your discernment. If you have to wait to make a decision, then wait. You don't have to rush into anything if you're not sure or if you're not um, clear. Okay, I'm seeing the numbers eight, four, seven. Those numbers, they could be related to birthdays or special days. I'm seeing the letters S, I, H, P, G, M, and C. Those letters could be in your name or someone else's name. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you all have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.